of fun. Randall, uh, Randall Thor, uh, is there a video you can point me to where you explain your purchasing process? This is a hobby of mine, and I have no intention of selling anything in the future without having a second copy, which is what I do. Like everything I've sold, I have cop. That's not the only copy I have. I've I've never so ah, not true, man. I regret regret. I sold an amazing Spider-Man number seven with the vault uh, with the vulture, I believe. Amazing Spider-Man back in 2000 for like 45 dollars 2002 i just wanted to test that out on ebay i regret selling that i didn't have an extra copy but i don't sell anything that i don't have extra copies of so continuing with randall's uh i think future without having a second copy at least i guess what i'm asking is how do you know which books may be worth selling in the future i walk into my local comic book store which is the size of a warehouse and i'm overwhelmed with what to buy uh randall for sure i have i have books that i have multiple copies of that they're not worth very much i have books that i have multiple copies of amazing spider-man 361 which they're worth a lot right how do you know it really depends what you're into buy what you love like when carnage came out i loved it i love the character like really amazing character i was like man i love this thing so i bought multiple copies of it because i thought it was a it was it was mom's mom's pie or whatever the saying goes right uh so buy what you love right there are certain uh comics that if you can get at a good price they're worth the investment uh there's something called the lindy effect something that has maintained its value for an extended period of time the odds are it will continue to maintain its value things that do serious pump ups right in a short term period the odds are they're going to do a serious correction right so for example amazing spider-man 361 right these are i sold two copies like two years ago right we did we we did grading or i did the listing part of them right we sold two copies two years ago one of them sold for 100 the first one sold for 100 the second one sold for 160 okay those were amazing deals because right now those same comic books are selling between 400 to 600 dollars right let's say 300 to 500 dollars or 350 to 550 right so it really depends i would say i personally randall i don't chase hot books really there are times where i chase them if i miss them but i really don't chase hot books that much i buy things that i love that i appreciate having that i love having so for example here watch I have multiple copies of Lobo kills <laughs> Santa Claus, right? Lobo Paramilitary Christmas Special. This doesn't fetch a huge price, but I love this comic and I'm happy to have multiple copies of this, right? I have multiple copies of Lobo the Last Zarnian issue number one to four because I think this is one of the best mini series ever put out amazing read amazing read amazing read right this is the one comic book this series is the one series i've read the most in my life right i don't know how many times i've read this series i must have read it like five six times right it's absolutely amazing right does it fetch a high price no not really okay uh am i glad to have as many copies as I do, well, I shouldn't have bought as many, but it was something that I did, uh, right? There are other ones that I jumped on the hype and I shouldn't have. So it's go with how you feel. Uh, don't go overboard. There are some no brainers. If it's the first appearance of something, it's not a bad idea to get extra copies, right? Selling copies. Um, if, if you love a character, then why not some of the key issues key characters they go up in price they maintain their value like batman's amazing spider-man 
X-Men, Superman and stuff like this. Low print run stuff from independent publishers, they're, as far as I'm concerned, their value is kicking up. I'm seeing it happen, right? So for example, take a look at uh, uh, something is killing the children, number one, right? Sold out right off the bat, you couldn't even get it. Comic book owners weren't even putting it out on a shelf, right? That thing's selling for three, four hundred dollars now. It's crazy prices is fetching, and it's all less. It's a year old, year plus old, right? So get into a certain genre. Read the comic books. That's that's a must. Read the comic books. Listen to the buzz. Uh, before you go into the comic book store, this is one thing you can do, Randall, by the way, and anyone else. Before you go to the comic book store on Wednesdays where you get pick up your comics, in the morning, do a little search on comic book forums or a couple of websites to see if there's anything important coming up and try to get your hands on a copy of that if you can. Right? That's the quick version. Aside from buying stuff online, Golden Age comics, horror, uh, pre pre censorship stuff is worth buying. Uh, amazing artists are worth buying, right? Um, and there's still amazing deals you, to be had. There's still amazing deals to be had. Okay.